ओके सो पुट द हेडिंग टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी ओके टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी नाउ यू ऑल हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड विद द रिकॉर्डिंग्स एज वेल ऑफ द करेंट लेटेस्ट बैच सो इट टेक्स रफली थ्री हंड्रेड आवर्स ऑफ एफर्ट टू कंप्लीट सी एम वन वंस नाउ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट एनी टाइम हियर ओके एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वॉट इज द प्रोसेस to basically clear your first actual exam you need to go through the institute material thoroughly okay that's the core if you go through the institute material then you will not have any kind of problem while appearing for the exam institute material is the bible okay and that is the process that we have been following since the last many years apart from that you have passed your papers of the indian body as well as the uk body that also we are going to solve in the class only okay so put the heading time value of money and basically we are not going to go chapter wise we are going to go topic wise okay so saturdays and sundays you will not, will not have any class like the class will be held online and that will be mostly for paper b so i'll try to incorporate some live classes for paper b so that you all be in touch with the industry experts okay and monday to friday the schedule is fixed since tomorrow is the result day so tomorrow we don't have any class but apart from that monday to friday by 4:50 you all be here so that you settle down and exact 5 we are going to start the class okay so time value of money now let's start with simple interest so simple interest is something that we all have heard while in the school days right it's a very simple topic so let's say suppose you are investing 100 rupees at the rate 4% interest so there will be two branches 100 and 4 but in simple interest do we get interest on interest no we only get interest on the principal amount so for the next year the branches will be 100 and 4 but this interest amount will not earn any further interest if we get interest on interest then it is compound interest okay so interest is received only on the principal amount the other name other name for simple interest is commercial rate of interest so whenever they say the word simple interest or they are saying the word commercial rate of interest then only we are going to use simple interest now what is interest just copy this first in case if you are left out with any of these notes this will be added to the file section okay you are batch 2 in batch when you see all the files are uploaded all the class pdfs are uploaded so your i will make a separate tab and that is batch 2 okay so this is something that we have studied in class 7 8 also right simple interest so do you think that the interest amount will be constant every year the interest amount it will be constant every year what do you say because the interest is not being charged on the interest amount there is no compounding of interest so that is why the interest amount is constant have you all copied now why do we pay interest why do we pay interest see we always have lack of money this is a timeline so i am using the money for 5 years maybe 
So I have borrowed 10,000 here from the bank. Okay, so it's a cash inflow for me. After five years, if I pay to the bank 10,000 only, will the bank do such kind of a transaction? The answer is no. Why? Why? Inflation. Inflation. Now what do you mean by inflation? What do you mean by inflation? Value of the currency decreases, the answer is no. Aggregate value of money decreases, no. See, basically it's a very simple thing. If the average household expense, what does this include? It includes medical costs, your rents, electricity, fooding costs, everything, right? So if the average household expense here, it's 1 lakh. So here it is going to be maybe 1.5 lakhs, maybe. Why so? Because the price of essential commodities, oil, right? All the essential commodity prices, they go on increasing. There is a rising inflation in India. Approximately the inflation in India is 5%, you can assume. In developed economies, it is less. It is roughly 2-3%, to but in India it's roughly 5%. Okay. Now, the bank will never do such a kind of transaction because why will the bank lend money to me? Bank is not getting anything in extra. So that extra is interest. Apart from that, you see, the owner of land, they get rent. Labor gets wages. Entrepreneur gets profit. So the owner of capital should also get interest as per economics. Now, the value of money, the value, the value of money decreases over time. By value of money, I mean the purchasing power. So if after five years also I am going to have one lakh rupees only, Will my purchasing power increase, decrease or remain constant? Why decrease? Because I will be able to purchase less. My standard of living will be compromised. And this is what is happening in most of the Indian families today. Their income amount is mostly constant. Or if your parents, they are working, they are getting a salary hike of maybe 5%, 10%, 7%, 8%. But the Household expenses, like maybe your medicine expenses, medical expenses, or maybe school expenses, coaching fees, your education, all things are having an increasing structure of fees. But ultimately, what is the thing? The standard of living, it gets compromised. So for that, we are studying finance. And main purpose of studying finance is that you should be able to make good financial decisions like your money should be invested in mutual funds where you are able to outbid inflation. If you are investing maybe in fixed deposit, so in fixed deposit you are getting maybe 7% but in mutual fund you might get some better returns maybe 9% or 10% depending on the fund, how the fund has performed, how the economy has performed. Okay, you need to outbid this. Now what is the basic, uh, basic function of a bank? They accept deposit. So deposit is an asset or a liability for a bank. Liability and they give loans. So loans is the asset for a bank. And for example, if they are accepting deposits at 6%, they are going to lend money maybe at 10% or maybe 11% or maybe 12%. And the difference is their income. And all the expenses of the bank are managed by the difference of the interest. Okay, so value of money decreases over time. So what do you mean by value of money decreases over time? Please write down. Purchasing power goes down. Yes, and there is also risk factor associated. Because if the bank is lending you money, 
to an individual or to a corporate it might happen so that the individual or the corporate is not able to pay back the loan it is termed as non performing asset you take out a credit card from a bank you swipe 3 lakh rupees and you don't pay to the bank so that is why the banks are not able to generate good profits because of poor asset quality and how do you maintain that asset quality see these things are okay bookish is okay but how do you maintain that asset quality like this is known as basically underwriting so so this this margin in the sense That is fine, but how can you maintain the asset quality? This is the question. To maintain the asset quality, he said the right thing. You need to set certain conditions. Those who fulfill those conditions, they should basically be granted a loan or a credit card based on the civil score. Okay. So, good credit rating. We say good credit rating. So, whenever a corporate is issuing a bond, whenever a corporate is issuing a bond so this is a bond it's basically a kind of a certificate so this bond is being purchased by a a is purchasing this bond and this bond is issued by let's say suppose sbi company state bank of india okay so state bank of india is issuing this bond now a is giving loan to sbi a is giving loan to SBI or maybe any other company. SBI is a bank. So maybe any other company, maybe uh, Adani. Okay. So A is giving loan to Adani. Worth maybe 1 lakh. So this is written. Interest rate is 10% per annum. This is written. Apart from that, number of years is 5 years. This is written. So all the details of the loan is mentioned in this bond. Now, for example, you gave the loan to Adani and just after few months, the report of Hindenburg came, which said that Adani is running a very big scam in India. Okay, so what will happen? The investors will be afraid, those who have given money to Adani, be it in the form of debt, be it in the form of equity. In India, you can raise funds mainly by two methods, which is debt and equity. Okay. So you gave loan at that point of time Adani was having a credit rating of A plus. Let's say suppose. So now the rating has gone down to maybe triple B. So lower rating means what? Lower rating means what? The firm is riskier. So that is why the investors, the bondholders, now they need greater interest because they are accepting higher risk. Okay, so this is a bond. Yes, opportunity cost is also there because that money could have been used somewhere. By use, we don't mean consumption. You could have been invested it somewhere and you could have got good returns. So that money, if I'm giving it to you, I need something extra and that extra is termed as interest. You need to compensate for the loss in the value of interest. You need to compensate for the loss in the value of money to the person who is lending you money. So for example, if I gave loan of 1 lakh rupees, so after 5 years or maybe after 10 years, he or she is giving me the same amount. Then why will I lend him the money? He or she needs to give me something extra and this 10 person is the extra that he or she is giving me. Okay? So, you need to compensate for the loss in the value of money is equal to interest. You need to compensate for the loss in the value of money. Okay.
This is basically a proof. This is basically a proof that A has given a loan to Adani. And all the things are mentioned in this bond. The loan amount, number of years, interest rate, everything is mentioned in this bond. Okay. So, if we sum up, why do we pay interest? Why do we pay interest? Number one is risk factor. Value of money. Dash over time. There is opportunity cost, right? Yeah, that's the same thing. There is opportunity cost. Okay. So, here, so if I'm lending someone 1 lakh rupees and after 5 years he or she is giving me 1.5 lakhs. Let's suppose. So, he or she is giving me 50,000 extra. This 50,000 extra is known as interest to compensate for the loss in the value of money. So that I am able to purchase either the same amount of the bundle of goods or maybe more, but not less. Okay? Hmm, yes. Hmm. Yeah, that is why people are getting compromised on the standard of living. That is why so much government is promoting the mutual fund, equity markets and hybrid schemes where basically you can invest for example if you are having 100 rupees okay you can invest maybe 70 percent in equity and 30 percent in bond. So this kind of portfolio is going to give you a return of maybe 8 to 9 percent because if you are maybe investing in fixed deposit it is going to give you 5 percent so then definitely in the long run you will see your standard of living is getting compromised. Okay. People are keeping lot and lot of cash in their home, but they're not understanding. So for example, I give you, uh, I will give you a small example, real life example. In my building, I stay in third floor. There is a, there was a flat vacant in the fourth floor. The, uh, they went to some other complex and they were very adamant that the selling price should be 85 lakhs. Okay, they were very adamant at time zero that they will sell this home at 85 lakhs. And property is a very illiquid investment. So you don't get a uh, uh, buyer so easily. So they waited and they waited for two years. And they were very adamant after two years they sold this property for the same amount, 85 lakhs. But don't you think they lost interest for two years. We were ready to buy the property at 80 lakhs here. Which one was a better financial decision? If 80 lakhs here they could have received and even maybe let's suppose in the combined two years they earned maybe 10%. Then also it was 88 lakhs. Okay. Next. Compound interest. The other name for compound interest is effective rate of interest. So when interest is getting compounded, we get interest on interest, then it is compound interest. Okay. So 100 is invested at the rate 4% interest, so 104, then 104, this 4 will again an interest, 4 and 4 into 0 0.04. And the formula for compound interest is amount is equal to principal 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power T. Now in actuaries we use our own notations amount is accumulated value, P is present value, 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power T is number of years. 
सो दिस इज द फॉर्मुला अक्यूमुलेटेड वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू प्रेजेंट वैल्यू वन प्लस आर बाय हंड्रेड होल्ड टू दावर एन Is it clear to all of you? Formula for simple interest. I missed out there. So simple interest. is what prt by 100 amount is what principal plus simple interest amount is accumulated value p is present value plus p is present value into r by 100 is what r by 100 is what interest rate expressed in decimals and t is number of years okay so this is present value One plus n i, n is number of years, and i is interest rate expressed in decimals. So six percent becomes zero point zero six. Eight percent becomes zero point zero eight, and so on. R by hundred, na? No? R is expressed in percentage. So a six percent is what? Six by hundred, which is zero point zero six. This is in percentage, and this is in decimals. We all are going to use the calculator. FX eighty two ES plus Casio company. Okay, you all can order online, or else you can buy it from us. I guess roughly six fifty seven hundred is the cost. Okay, we are having so take it today. Those you don't have. Okay. So this is the thing. here also if you see we can write accumulated value is equal to present value 1 plus i whole to the power n and in cm1 you need to watch some pre recorded lectures like mathematics basics statistics basics how to use calculator and typing videos so every day make a schedule see basically it's not the smartest who wins you need to maintain a proper schedule for the next 100 days let's take up a challenge 100 days to cm1 and let's plan the schedule very properly we are not having 100 days roughly 97 96 days so it's very simple daily i am going to give you homework and those who all are here those who all are in online please daily come for the class don't think the traveling time it's the interaction which matters every day okay you all will come here i will basically guide you all on a daily basis what to do what not to do if a student feels that he or she can manage by herself or himself then you could have easily purchased the recorded lectures okay the main thing is coming to class daily okay so now let's take one example so 1 lakh is the amount Simple interest is five percent, compound interest is eight percent. Time is ten years. Okay, you need to calculate. This is the present value basically. This is the present value. You need to calculate the accumulated value. So accumulated value is what in case of simple interest, present value into one plus n is what ten years into i is what zero point. 05 excellent and accumulated value in case of compound interest is what 1 lakh tell 1 plus 10 into 0. Point, oh sorry i'm really sorry 1 plus 0.08 to the power n which is what okay so this is 1 lakh 1.08 to the power 10 what is the answer number one answer huh no hmm
None of you have purchased the calculator. Two lakh fifteen thousand. Okay. Hmm. Comfortable till here. Any doubt? Please, all of you will solve the question to the end. Okay. Any doubt till here? ठीक है नाउ पुट द हेडिंग जेड सी बी जीरो कूपन बॉन्ड बॉन्ड इज बेसिकली अ लोन अग्रीमेंट डॉक्यूमेंट कूपन इज बेसिकली द रेगुलर इंटरेस्ट एंड जीरो कूपन मीन्स वॉट अ लोन अग्रीमेंट इन विच देर इज नो रेगुलर इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट बट these bonds are issued at a discount and redeemed at par i'll give you example so for example 5 years zcb you pay 70000 today and you get 1 lakh after 5 years so the extra 30000 you are getting this is what interest but here you are not getting any regular coupon or regular interest you are getting 30000 at once at maturity companies do this to save the regular costs because when i start a new company there are a lot of expenses so i need some support from the investors of uh, those who are giving loan to the company in the form that i don't want to pay them fix it's a kind of headache in my mind that every every year at the year end maybe if i'm raising 100 crores if i'm raising maybe 100 crores by bond and the interest rate is 5% let's suppose so every year i need to pay 5 crores so it's a fixed expense for me i don't want to take the burden so that is why i'm issuing this discount bonds i'm saying the holder of this bond is going to get 1 lakh rupees after 5 years today this bond is available in the market at 70000 rupees so this is the concept of discount okay now simple discount simple discount present value is equal to Accumulated value, one minus d, one minus n d. Compound discount. Present value is equal to accumulated value, one minus d whole to the power n. Tell me which one is greater, accumulated value or present value? Obviously, accumulated value is greater. So when we are saying present value, so something should get subtracted from accumulated value to get what present value so present value is accumulated value 1 minus nd n is what number, number of years and d is what the discount rate simple discount is also known as commercial rate of discount and compound discount is also known as effective rate of discount any doubt till here any doubt till here what is a zero coupon bond no no regular coupon payments issued at a discount ready made par girls know better about discount okay let us do one example now accumulated value is 5 lakhs 
you will solve up to five to six decimal places. Okay, you will solve up to five to six decimal places. Accumulated value is five lakhs. Compound discount is eight percent per annum. Simple discount is five percent. Five percent per annum. Time is four years. Okay, so now the subject will be present value. Okay, which is what accumulated value. One minus zero point zero eight whole to the power four. This was the formula. Check. Compound discount is AV one minus D whole to the power n. And present value in case of simple discount is what AV one minus ND. Now you could have got the essence that whenever it is compound, n goes to the power, and whenever it is simple, n is normal in the down. What is the answer? Three five eight one. This okay. Next is. I am going to tell you about the cash flows of a bond. Suppose uh, you have given someone one lakh rupees at the rate eight percent for five years. So you have given someone at time zero how much? One lakh. So it's a negative outflow for you. Like maybe uh, you have given na. So let's suppose you are at the bank. Ha. Huh. Now you are the bank. Okay. So you have given someone one lakh rupees for five years at the rate eight percent. So at time one you are going to get eight thousand as interest. At time two, you are going to get eight thousand as interest. At time three, you are going to get eight thousand as interest. At time four, you are going to get eight thousand as interest. And at time five, you are going to get the eight thousand as well as the principal amount of one lakh. This is known as the redemption amount. This is known as the redeem redeem amount. Okay. It might happen so that using your money, uh, like. Uh, Sometimes what happens is that you give loans to corporates, and using your money, the corporate does really well. So they might give you a premium on redemption. So they might say in the question that five percent premium on redemption. So this means what? You'll not get one lakh here. You'll get one lakh five thousand. Sometimes it decided. Sometimes it, if the company wants to give, then there is no problem. Yeah, they can. It's a cost to them, but it might happen to increase the market value, to spread some positive vibes about the company. They might do, huh? Investors like they will feel attracted, na? Why do you why do you always feel that? Uh, I want to uh, work for some of the classy companies like maybe McKinsey, Boston, Bain. So that's the thing. So these are the cash flows of a bond. Okay. Next. Now, put the heading. Accumulation factor. Write down. How many times my fund has grown? 
how many times my fund has grown and here we are not going to see in in cm1 in cm1 there are two parts one is certain cash flows and the other is contingencies so this requires you some basic stats concepts so i'm giving you all one week of time so from next week end onwards like maybe wednesday thursday onwards we are going to do uh, basically contingencies and certain cash flows side by side so one class certain cash flows contingencies certain cash flows contingencies like this so you should be done with the stats basic classes by this uh, weekend because what happens is that we spend most of the time and energy in these certain cash flows and this contingencies is not given much respect so 60% is contingencies so that is why from day 1 only we are going to do contingencies as well okay how many times my fund has grown so for example you invest 1000 today and after 5 years your fund is 2000 so how many times it's grown two so this is the present value this is the accumulated value and this is the accumulation factor what is the notation a 0 to n this is accumulation factor from time 0 to time n so what is the accumulation factor in case of simple interest just check and let me know what is the accumulation factor in case of simple interest hmm 1 plus ni nd ni ni accumulation factor in case of compound interest 1 plus i to the power okay so basically the video got stuck but uh, i haven't done anything as of i'll just repeat the last part so we did accumulation factor how many times my fund has grown okay and uh, how do you calculate accumulation factor present value into accumulation factor is accumulated value so accumulation factor is what accumulated value by present value and a 0 to n is the notation so accumulation factor from time 0 to time n and the accumulation factor in case of simple interest is 1 plus ni and accumulation factor in case of compound interest is 1 plus i whole to the power n okay then we gave a question to solve so present value is 5000 we need to calculate accumulated value simple interest is 10% per annum compound interest is 8% per annum simple discount is 9% per annum compound discount is 11% per annum n is 5 years so now so first we are starting with simple interest so it is 5000 so it is 5000 1 plus 5 into 0.1 then compound interest 5000 1 plus 0.08 whole to the power then it is simple discount so uh, 5000 is equal to av 1 minus 5 into 0.09 compound discount 5000 is equal to av 1 minus 0.11 whole to the power 5 okay is it clear to all of you just check i guess there is some technical problem but i will see to it okay so this question is done okay just tell me the answers 7500 7346 point okay next 
9090 point okay next 854 okay have you all got these answers yes no have you all got these answers okay 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 so next is discounting factor discounting factor is df and the notation is v0 to n so discount factor from time n to time 0 but we write this as v0 to n so for example 500 is the accumulated value and the present value is 100 so this is the accumulated value this is the present value so by what factor should we multiply this 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 so this is the discounting factor so accumulated value into discounting factor is what present value okay n is here and n you can think in broad sense is number of periods so it can be number of quarters number of months but here we are treating n as standard number of years okay so discounting factor is what present value by accumulated value and here we got AV by PV is what? AF? Accumulated value is what? Present value into accumulation factor into discounting factor is present value. So from here if you see this and this will get cut. So AF into DF is 1. So AF into DF is 1. So accumulation factor is 1 by discounting factor. This means what? There is an inverse relationship between accumulation factor and discounting factor. There is an inverse relationship between accumulation factor and discounting factor. Is it clear? There is an inverse relationship between accumulation factor and discounting factor. AF is 1 by DF and DF is 1 by AF. Okay. Clear till now? Sir, previous slide please. Okay. Wednesday, you all come by 3 p.m. Okay. First, watch a lecture on basic Excel. Okay. And then you do the class. So, every day for physical batch, you all come by 3 p.m. So, in case you're having any doubt, etc., any guidance, I'll be there. Done. Okay. Now next, put the heading, principle of consistency. So, we have a fund.
so here we had 1000 rupees here we are having 1500 here we are having 2000 here we are having 2200 here we are having 2500 and here we are having 3000 okay so basically if you see uh what is a 0 to 2 accumulation factor from 0 to 2 accum accumulated value by present value what is a 2 to 4 2000 by 1500 what is a 4 to 6 2200 by 2000 what is a 6 to 8 2500 by 2200 and what is a 8 to 10 accumulated value by present value so what is a 0 to 10 3000 by 1000 yes or no yes or no okay so if you see i'm just showing you one one thing when we multiply all this you do one thing you have copied all of you have copied all of you have copied now i guess it's fine in the middle it's happening little bit i guess there is some technical problem but i will solve it in one or two days that is why i'm repeating so many times now it's problematic or it's okay Hmm. Okay. So, accumulation factors. Sorry. Accumulation factors in between can be multiplied. So. A zero to two into A two to four into dot 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 into A eight to ten. Excellent. Is equal to what? A zero to ten. But this is only possible. Excellent. In compound interest and not simple interest. is it clear yes no hmm so this completes our time value of money okay this completes our time value of money any doubt till here any doubt any doubt so let's do a summary so here we are having simple interest 1 plus ni what is this counting factor 1 by accumulation factor so here it will be 1 plus ni to the power compound interest is 1 plus i whole to the power n here it will be 1 plus i to the power simple discount 
वन माइनस एन डी वन माइनस एन डी हियर इट इज वन माइनस डी टू दावर सॉरी आई एम आई एम रियली सॉरी so simple interest accumulation factor is 1 plus ni simple interest discounting factor is 1 plus ni to the power minus 1 compound interest is 1 plus i to the power n a discounting factor is what 1 plus i to the power minus n because discounting factor is what there is an inverse relationship right so af is what 1 by df and df is what 1 by af so simple interest accumulation factor is 1 plus ni simple interest discounting factor is 1 plus ni to the power minus 1 compound interest accumulation factor is 1 plus i to the power n discounting factor is 1 plus i to the power minus n simple discount accumulation factor is what 1 minus nd to the power minus 1 discounting factor is what 1 minus nd compound discount 1 minus d to the power minus n 1 minus d to the power n okay please copy this down done now let's understand this thing this is zero this is one so the present value is 1000 hey don't slip present value is 100 interest rate is 8% so what is the accumulated value 108 How did you get to one zero eight? Hundred one plus zero point zero eight is what? One zero eight. So present value into accumulation factor is accumulated value. Correct? Eh? Now hundred into one point zero eight is one zero eight. So when you multiply this factor when you multiply by this factor you get the accumulated value okay so why cannot we multiply accumulation factor in simple interest because you cannot multiply because uh in simple interest what happens is that uh whenever you are doing simple interest your fund is accumulating at 40 so it's 40 plus 40 plus 40 every year it's not 1000 into 1.04 into 1.04 into 1.04 every year okay your amount is constant so when you multiply by this factor you get what accumulated value So, hundred is equal to what? One zero eight by one point zero eight. In the whole of finance and banking, in the whole of finance and banking, you will see. All you need to do is. You need to accumulate a sum of money, or you need to pull it back. either you need to accumulate a sum of money to the future or you need to pull it back copy this
whenever we want to accumulate we multiply by factor what is the factor whenever we want to calculate present value we divide by factor no it's not discounting factor it's a factor 1.08 is accumulation factor if you want to accumulate you multiply if you want to pull it back you divide discounting factor so you need to calculate accumulated value after 5 years into 1.08 into 1.08 into 1.08 into 1.08 ek do teen into 1.08 okay this is what this is what this is what okay now one more example you have 1000 here and interest rate is 8% so what you are going to do is 1000 divided by 1.08 1.08 1.08 yes or no clear copy this yes it is the annuity factor no it's not annuity factor it's pvaf there is sorry you are saying it is annuity factor it's not annuity factor it's interest factor annuity we have not studied till now till now annuity we haven't studied <clears throat> it's a very simple thing you keep on multiplying if you want to accumulate you keep on dividing if you want to take the present value out M much of use is only compound interest for you you need to calculate the accumulated value and 10% is the compound interest so what you are going to do is 5000 into 1.1 What is this one point one? What is this one point one? What is this one point one? If we are investing one rupees today, after one year, the money in the bank will be one rupee and ten paisa. Clear? Into one point one, into one point one, into one point one, into one point one. Now, if you are getting. Ten lakhs here. You calculate present value. Compound interest is seven percent. So what you are going to do is ten lakhs by clear. One plus I is accumulation factor for one year. One by one plus I is also known as V, which is discounting factor for one year. So V square is what discounting factor for 
टू इयर्स एक्सेलेंट वी क्यूब इज वॉट इज इट क्लियर नो सिंपल डिस्काउंट ऑब्लिक कंपाउंड डिस्काउंट डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर फॉर वन ईयर इज वॉट वन माइनस डी आइदर इट्स वन माइनस डी टू दर एन और इट्स वन माइनस एन डी यू पुट एन इज इक्वल टू वन यू पुट एन इज इक्वल टू वन वॉट यू गेट this is what discounting factor for one year and just now we studied discounting factor for one year is so 1 minus d is b 1 minus v is d 1 minus 1 by 1 plus i is d so 1 plus i minus 1 by 1 plus i is d d is i by 1 plus i 1 minus nd as has is for sim simple discount yes and 1 minus d to the power n is for compound discount sir can you please repeat the last slide last slide so 5000 was the present value we need to calculate accumulated value after 4 years 1.1 is the accumulation factor for 1 year so into 1.1 1.1 1.1 1.1 1.1 okay next was 10 lakhs is the accumulated value we need to calculate the present value so 10 lakhs by 1.07 into 1.07 whenever we want to accumulate we will multiply by the factor if you want to calculate the present value So one plus i is accumulation factor for one year. One by one plus i is discounting factor for one year, which is noted as v. So v square is discounting factor for two years. V cube is discounting factor for three years. It's then reversed on the left. Arey, try to understand. What I meant was ki either it's simple discount or it's compound discount. In both the cases. so i'll write it properly now so in case of simple discount 1 minus nd in case of compound discount 1 minus d to the power n you put n is equal to 1 in both the cases you get 1 minus d and what is this 1 minus d discounting factor for one year okay so v is what 1 by 1 plus i d is what i by 1 plus i i is 5% what is v 1.05 to the power minus 1 what is d 0.05 by 1.05 okay from next day onwards class duration will increase okay don't miss the physical class that's it for the day today was the first day you revise this and you come for the next class which is on wednesday 5 pm see you all okay thank you all of you